like, it's like immigration reform. You know where you want to go. Sometimes it takes a slightly more circuitous path, but we're going to, we're going to get there. And the, I, I think, uh, you know, as an immigrant, and I know many of us here are immigrants or certainly children of immigrants, we have seen throughout history that uh, anytime the economy gets a little rough and times become more difficult, uh, there's a tendency to blame immigrants. And we've been through this before, we'll certainly get through it, but in the process this time, we're going to demand and we're going to win immigration reform at the national level. I know a lot of people have spoken already, but I just wanted to come up and uh, show my support for the New York Immigration Coalition. This is an organization that um, just a little over eight years ago when I was elected to first elected to the city council, uh, uh, Cheng Hua and several people from the Immigration Coalition um, came and met with me before I actually took office and they talked to me about some important legislation that they uh, wanted to make sure that I was sponsoring. I didn't even take office yet. But of course, it, it was a, a very piece of, a very important piece of legislation that I made it my point to, to have as the first bill that I sponsored in the city council, and that was uh, a bill on language access, which uh, took a couple of years to fight to get passed. <laughs> but we did get it passed, and of course, we extended that to the schools and to, to ensure that the parents knew what, the, what they were, the kids were doing in school. I, I did have a little bit of ambivalence at the time when we were passing that piece of legislation because you know, growing up as an immigrant and, and being a kid in public schools, um, ever since I was a young kid, I used to do all the translations for my, my mom and my dad. And I gotta tell you, they used to love the principal's notes that I used to get sent home, <laughs> given that I was a translator. <laughs> uh, but uh, of course, we, we, want, we want our parents, and now I've got a fourth grader in public school myself, we want our parents to really know what's happening with their kids in school. And so uh, <laughs> um, uh, it's, it's that battle and so many others that the New York Immigration Coalition has been at the forefront of with its, uh, with its many, many member agencies and organizations. These are struggles that really define New York City New York City has always been made strong and continuously reinvigorated uh, with the, uh, the blood, sweat, and tears of new Americans who make their homes here, their newfound homes here in New York. And in fact, the uh, New York Immigration Coalition paves the way in so many different ways on a national level. So I'm here really just to, uh, to thank Cheng Hua and the entire staff and all the member organizations of New York Immigration Coalition they deserve uh, our tremendous gratitude for what they do locally and what they do nationally. Congratulations, and congratulations to our distinguished honorees.